hello. I'm Jennifer Love, the embodied intuitive and creator of the Body Love Goddess program. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you of a couple things that I've got going on. Of course, I do love readings. <laughs> That's my thing. That's my gig. That's what I'm known for is the love readings. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> love readings, love readings. Please get a love reading if you're so inclined. I'm also an energy guide. I do crystal healings, energy work. I channel angelic and Reiki energy uh, through my body and my channel, and I use um, crystal healing with that. Um, I'm also a feminine embodiment coach. I teach sensual movement classes to women virtually and in studio. I'm in the Orange County, Southern California area. If you're interested, I do in-studio classes every Saturday afternoon and virtually teaching throughout the week. My um, schedule is online at the Body Story Studio, bodystorystudio.com. And of course, my website for appointments is jenniferlove.me. Um, with my dear friend Avery Rose, we have our Twin Flame Masterclass, uh, twinflame.group. It's a six week online course to know everything you've ever wanted to know about Twin Flames. I have some other um, interesting online courses launching very soon. Um, I'm introducing um, a love readings uh, masterclass, I guess you'd say, as well as um, an angel communication course that's coming um, in September. So yeah, today I wanted to talk about crystals and actually um, how your positive thoughts manifest what you desire and also what you don't desire. Actually, your thoughts are manifesting constantly. But I wanted to start by saying I'm a crystal junkie. I'm a crystal hoarder. I'm a crystal whatever. Um, I, I don't even remember when I started collecting crystals, to be honest. I can't even like, I don't even know how far back because, you know, I think it started with jewelry, honestly. Um, and I probably in high school, I would think, but I didn't even really understand the healing powers of crystals. I just know that I was like genuinely attracted to them. But as I started doing um, intuitive readings about 10 years ago, I wanted to, um, I was very, very much attracted to rose quartz. And I would definitely say that out of all the crystals I have, rose quartz is definitely my favorite. It's the one I'm most attracted to. It's the one I surround myself with the most, um, especially here in my little office area. I have a ton of rose quartz. So I kind of gathered it all up to actually see, seriously, how much do I have? And I have a lot. Um, so I thought I'd share it, show it to you. Um, so I have little pieces like this, you know, like little puffy hearts. Um, this is the one I carry around in my purse constantly. I actually have, I got a little chip in it because I'm constantly like dropping it and carrying around my purse all the time. Um, this is a little rose quartz bowl that I have in my bedroom and it has three little tiny teeny hearts inside. Um, this I love, it's my rose quartz vulva. It's carved in the shape of a vulva. It's super feminine embodiment energy. I just love this, I usually keep this like it's almost like a worry stone almost. I keep this usually in my office area somewhere. This is a little um, uh, kind of rose quartz aura tower. It's, you know, got the um, special coating, aura coating, coating on it. Um, tiny little tower. I keep this usually on my desk somewhere. Um, this is a chip. I don't even know what this is from, to be honest, but I usually put that in the little bowl. This is a tiny little rose quartz sphere that I usually keep in my bedroom, just on the dresser when I'm getting ready. This is 
one of my necklaces. It has um, rose quartz chips in it. I wear this, you know, uh, out and about, you know, and I get so many compliments on it constantly. And people are always asking me, what is that? What's in there? They're just like naturally like drawn into and attracted to it. Um, I get so many compliments from complete strangers as to what is this? What's in there? You know, constantly. Um, you can actually unscrew it, I think. Yeah, you can unscrew it and like change what crystals are in there, which is pretty cool. Um, but I just leave the rose quartz in there all the time. I have this rose quartz necklace too. Um, it's just like a little rose quartz brick. And then of course I've got my rose quartz earrings on today because I'm just all about rose quartz today. This is a uh, raw rose quartz that I got when I was traveling one time. Um, I think in Arizona, Nevada, I can't remember. Um, this is another heart one of my favorites. I usually keep this on my desk also when I'm doing readings. Another heart, Rose Quartz Heart. It's kind of um, like a like a plaque kind of. I usually keep it in my office area again while I'm doing readings. Um, now we're getting to the bigger pieces, right? This is honestly, I thought the biggest um, Rose Quartz piece I would ever own. Um, it's super, it's heavy. Um, it's so beautiful. It's such a really nice, deep uh, pink. Um, this is from the Promote Peace shop. Um, and uh, so beautiful. I keep it on my desk. Um, and it's such a nice energy, nice vibration. Um, yeah, love this piece. Um, this is is my smallest rose quartz tower um, again it's a really nice deep rose color um, I, this is one I keep in my bedroom uh, this is another rose quartz tower that I keep in my office area this is a little bit lighter like you can see the different shades it's just a lighter um, Lighter vibration, lighter energy. And then this is a rose quartz tower I just received this week um, from Promote Peace. Um, really nice, uh, tall, heavy, such good quality. Um, again, I'm gonna keep this in my office area, I think. Just really, gosh, high vibrational. So the last piece I wanted to show you and the reason for this live stream today was this big, beautiful, oh my gosh, it's so heavy, bowling ball, rose quartz sphere. It's over 20 pounds. I weighed it on my little mailing shipping scale. Um, when I purchased it, they said it's 17 something pounds and I was like, that's so big, but um, I weighed it and it's over 20 pounds like I it's so heavy it's it's like a bowling ball like if you've ever bowled you'll know what I'm talking about it's so heavy it's so gorgeous like honestly like it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life I have to put it down because it's just I'm pretty strong like girls I'm a pole dance instructor like I'm strong but this is the most beautiful crystal like Oh my God, I just died. So let me tell you about this crystal. Let me tell you, I've got history with this crystal, okay? Um, so the Promote Peace Shop is um, a business on Instagram. And I've been a customer client of this store. I wanna say like, I guess a little over a year. Maybe it's been a year, maybe it's a little over a year, but um, they would have live, they're in, uh, located in Maryland, and they would have um, live sales on their Instagram page. And you, they would, you know, kind of like um, hold up the crystal. And if you were like the first bidder, you know, with the price that they would offer it at, you won, okay? 
and that's how their sales worked. So um, recently, the owner, Nastasia, had decided to liquidate her inventory because she was pursuing a different business of her um, manifestation coaching, which God love her, you know, good for her. She's, you know, pursuing her dreams and doing what she wants to do, even though her crystal business, hugely successful, you know, um, but you know, decided she wants to go a different way. So they were liquidating their crystal inventory in this one gigantic sale. So all of the crystals were like over half off, which was amazing. But anyway, getting ahead of myself, every live sale they had, this big ass crystal was in the background. Like, so she had this beautiful display on a table and she would have, you know, um, this crystal sphere in the background. Um, and she sometimes put, uh, sunglasses on it, like just cute, you know? Um, and it, it, the cost of it was over a thousand dollars, you know, for the crystal. And every, you know, live sale, I would look at it and just go, oh my gosh, that's so, I love that rose quartz sphere. It's so beautiful. I wish I could afford it. I wish I could buy it. That would be such a nice, you know, addition to my rose quartz collection. I'm such a rose quartz junkie. Um, so every time they had a live sale, I would look at it, dream about it, think about it, right? Um, but ultimately, you know, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't buy it. It wasn't part of my budget, you know, to buy a thousand dollar crystal. Um, so I would, you know, just look at it, think about it. And that was it. Um, and, uh, pretty much, you know, looking at it for a year during these sales. And of course I acquired other crystals from the store at that time. I bought this. I bought this. I bought amethyst towers. I bought other spheres, uh, charite. I bought selenite. I bought um, other beautiful pieces, you know, um, over the months, you know. Um, I was doing my crystal guide certification, so I bought um, all like a rainbow of different colored crystals because I felt like I needed it in my practice to have um, crystals of every chakra color to um, be able to do the healing work that I needed to do. So, um, but every sale, you know, I'd be, even at sales that I didn't buy things, you know, I would just watch and, you know, I'd see this crystal in the background and I'd be thinking, wow, really like that. I really love that. Oh, I wish I could have it. I wish I could buy it. Um, and of course I didn't, but I would be thinking about it and like, it would be kind of, I guess, in the back of my mind, in my subconscious. And um, of course, then she has this big liquidation sale, right? And uh, she was selling tons of stuff, great deals all over the place. I bought this big, big tower, half price. It was so great. Um, I bought this. It was a um, really interesting piece. I've never seen anything like it. Rosalite? Never heard of it. I gotta look it up. I don't even know. Um, but I got some really interesting pieces. I got a black obsidian. So beautiful. But um, again, this was up for grabs. And I was like, oh my god, the crystal right? You know, like a little, like a little gremlin. I was like, oh my God, I must have. So, um, and it was half price and I, it was less than half price. I have to say it was less than half price. And of course I put my bid in, right? A bunch of other people did too. Um, oh my God. I just noticed this whole time I haven't been wearing the microphone. How crazy. I hope that I haven't been just babbling and no one can hear me. Um, and uh, <laughs> I put my bid in and um, hopefully that, uh, hoping that I was first, right? But, um, you know, you never know how it's going to come out on the other person's end because 
you know, with the internet and everything else, you know, sometimes you're first, sometimes you're not. And um, so um, Nastasia announces someone else's name to win the crystal and it wasn't me. And I was so disappointed. I was just like, oh my God, that is so like, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Like, oh, I lost, I didn't win. Um, and I was just sad, sad, sad. Um, and then I started noticing everybody in the comments saying, um, but Jennifer Love was first, but Jennifer Love was first. Jennifer Love said it first, Jennifer Love said it first. And then um, it, it was just like this big argument in the comments about how I was the first bidder and not this other person. So I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know, like who won, I'm not sure. And then the other bidder, said, well, if you want it, you can have it. And I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, you're just going to give it to me? Like, really? <laughs> and it was just like, the whole universe was like conspiring to kind of like, give me what I wanted or like, let me have what I so desired, you know? Um, it was just incredible. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what was happening. All these people at the auction were like, here, you know, and this other person who obviously like, was just like, here, you know? And so of course I was like, of course I want it, you know? And so I was just so amazed at the power of my own thoughts for a year saying that I really want this, I really want this, you know, somehow the universe was going to make it happen for me, even though I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't know how the money was going to come. I didn't know the circumstances at which this was going to come into my space, right? It's just kind of how manifestation works. This is how the power of your thoughts work. You don't have to know the how or the why or the timing. And that's the most important thing is that you don't have to figure it all out. You don't have to know every step. You don't have to know the timing. You don't have to know what's gonna happen next. You just have to maintain the positive thoughts. You have to know that this is your destiny. You have to know and know deep down in your soul that this is how it's going to happen and this is what's meant for you. So that's what I want to leave you with today is that if you want something, if you really want it, and I'm not talking about stuff, obviously, you know, it's nice to want crystals, right? It's nice to want clothes or nice things or whatever you know that's great you know and it is nice that I got this beautiful crystal and I'm going to cherish it and love it because I you know am a crystal gremlin and obviously I'm a rose quartz junkie and I love it um, this is the most beautiful crystal I've ever owned and I'm so grateful to Nastasia and I'm so grateful to the promote peace shop and uh, her new business is called The Art of Intuition. And if you do want to learn more about manifestation, she's the expert. She's the person to go to. Um, I'm, you know, definitely on the edge of manifestation. I'm not an expert by any means, but um, I'm definitely like learning how to get there. Um, but if you definitely want to check out her page, The Art of Intuition is where to go. Uh, but what I do know is that having positive thoughts and positive intentions is the first step because if you don't believe in yourself if you don't think that you're gonna get there then you never will if you don't have um the idea that you live in an abundant harmonious universe if you don't feel worthy and deserving, ain't gonna happen. If I got to that place in the auction where the other person was saying, oh, you know, Jennifer, you can have it. And I said, oh, no, 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 it's okay. I'm not worthy. 
I don't feel deserving of this and I turned it down, do you think I'd be holding it right now? No, I wouldn't. If I said, oh no, it's cool. I'm not worthy. Like, I don't deserve this. Then I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have it. So you have to feel worthy. You have to feel good about yourself. And if you don't, if you don't have that underlying kind of confidence in yourself, that underlying self-love and worthiness that, yeah, I do deserve this. I do deserve all the love and happiness and joy that everyone else on this earth does, then yeah, everything can be yours. So I want you to go have the best weekend ever because you deserve it, okay? (laughs) So I hope this was helpful for you. If you do need help loving yourself, if you do need help feeling worthy, I would be more than happy to help you on that journey. So please reach out to me if you need any help with um, self-love, if you need a love reading, if you want help with any energy work or anything else that I offer, please reach out to me. I hope you have a fabulous day, fabulous weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!